Hello students, in this video we are going to talk about class plus one book horn bill chapter two. We are not afraid to die if we can all be together by Gordon Cook and Ellen East. The story we are not afraid to die if we can all be together is a story of extreme courage and skill exhibited by Gordon Cook. His family and crewmen in a war with water and waves for survival. And let us see the first heading. This is the first phase of their journey and uh, the title of that is Around the World Voyage. In July 1976, the narrator, his wife Mary, son Jonathan and daughter Suzanne set sail from Plymouth, England. Repeating the Around the World Voyage made 200 years earlier by Captain James Cook took the voyage in the southern Indian Ocean in their professionally built ship, the Waywalker, a 23 meter long and 30 ton wooden boat. Accompanied by two experienced sailors, Larry Vigil, an American and Herb Sigler, a Swiss. The first part of the journey that is about 1,5,000 kilometers up to Cape Town passed. Then there was the attack of the big wave. On the second day, they began to encounter strong gales up to 15 meters, as high as the main mast. On 25th December, the writer's ship was in the southern Indian Ocean. 3,500 kilometers to the east of Cape Town and celebrated their new year in the ship. At dawn on January 2, due to unfriendly weather and gigantic waves, the sailors slowed their speed, drop storm jib and take other precautions. Sailors complete life raft drill. Attached life lines and life jackets. Suddenly at 6 p.m. a tremendous explosion shook the wave walker and the author was thrown overboard. The ship was about to capsize when another gigantic wave hit it tossing it upright once again. In spite of his injuries the narrator took charge of the situation. Somehow he found the wheel, lined up the stern for the next wave and hung on till Mary appeared and took charge of the wheel. Larry and Herb started pumping out water like madmen. The whole starboard side buzzed inwards. The narrator managed to cover canvas across the gaps to prevent water from entering the ship. Then came more problems. The hand pumps stopped working and electric pumps short-circuited. The narrator found a spare electric pump under the chart room that worked. The entire night was spent in pumping, steering, repairing and sending radio signals. The narrator checked charts and calculated that all Amsterdam, a French scientific base, was their only hope. Sue's head was swollen and she had a deep injury. And after that, they had ultimate victory waiting for them. Finally, they reached Al. Amsterdam, a volcanic island where they were welcomed by 28 inhabitants. Thus the collective strength and never failing optimism of the sailors made it possible for them to come out of the jaws of death. This place, Isle Amsterdam, was a French scientific base. There were only 28 inhabitants. Now it was very exciting for them after reaching over there. Though Jonathan and Suzanne did not do anything to save Wave Walker, 
but their courage faith and optimism gave extra strength and persistence to the narrator and his team that's why it has been said aptly we are not afraid to die if we can all be together if we are together then we may surpass or overcome all the obstacles thank you